Dear Mr. 2020, I don't have any desires. Please help. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Power of Imagination podcast. My name is Mr. 2020. You are listening to me live, coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Today is the 22nd of July. It is 5.56 a.m. in one hour and four minutes. We've got something really cool going on. It's called the Destiny Project. Let's dive in. Ready? I don't have any desires. Please help. Guess what? You've got a desire. You asked for help. You desire to have a desire. So let's just admit that you're loopy. Let's just admit that you're loopy and be done with it. And being loopy, you run in circles. Now, if you could imagine a team of like eight dogs running in circles, right? You got a big circle, you got eight dogs, and they're running in a circle. And you're always looking and sniffing the same ass that's in front of you. And you're getting dizzy and tired, but you can't stop because you're part of a pack of eight dogs that's running in a circle. Now, why would I mention eight dogs running in a circle? Because that's how it seems to be. We live in a world where a lot of people appear not to have desires. They've got lots of frustrations, but they don't have desires. You get, we might be talking two sides of the same coin. Might be. There's the big key word. But here's what happens. Your desires are divine in origin. Each of them has their own plan and power of fulfillment. And each one of them leads to something lovely. Let that one sink in. Every desire you have leads to something else that's lovely. If you desire to climb that mountain and you climb that mountain, you're going to see something from the top of that mountain that you couldn't see before. And you're going to be someone from the top of that mountain that you weren't before. You're going to see something and be something from that mountain that you weren't before. That you couldn't before. Because you've climbed that mountain, you've assumed that identity. This is where I should do a crass commercial for IdentityBasedManifesting.com. There, do that. It's a little $97 pack. It'll rock your world. But let's continue with more gold and more crass commercials. When you deny the divinity of you... The humanity and divinity of you can't dance. And if the humanity and divinity of you aren't dancing, you're going to become very rational and you're going to use doubt as a weapon against yourself. How do I know this? I'm 58 years old. Been there, done that. One more crass commercial. Magic to the max. We did a live call on this. It kicked ass. You can get it at nevillegoddardstore.com. Click on the 2024 section. Everything there right now is cutting edge with this current attitude. Get that Magic to the Max recording and pick up that Altitude one, too. You know, one with the chart. I forget what it's called. There's something about Altitude, Attitude, I don't remember. But it's a cool chart, and it'll change your life. And yes, you get the chart, too. But let's keep going, because when you deny the divinity of you... You being 100% divine and 100% human can't dance. Everything becomes work. Do something now for a paycheck later. And generally speaking, human beings don't like work. There was this 85-year-old woman back at the Slovak Club in the United States of America in Connellsville. And when the band would play... See, when the band played and I danced, I had a predictable... I, I had a move... And no matter what the band was doing, I did my move. This woman, she had, she was amazing to watch. And she had all kind of moves. One part of her body moved with the bass player. Another part moved with the drummer. Another part moved with the lead guitarist. Another one moved with the saxophonist, if there was one. And she was delightful to watch because in any moment she had moves upon moves upon moves upon moves she was delightful to dance with, even from afar. And I had my move. It was a simple groove. No matter what they did, that's what I did. 
And I so appreciated her. Because the dance of her was so much more complete than the dance of me. In other words, she abandoned herself in the dance. She became dynamic. Divinity is dynamic. So you live in a world where there is a dynamic blend and experience of rational and magical. The rational part of you is always saying no to something. The magical part of you is always saying more to what's pleasing. And it seems as if the rational part is all about control. Because I can say no. I can say no to listening to the podcast. I had a lady this morning send me an email, and she doesn't listen to the podcast because she won't accept cookies, and she won't install apps on her device. And I respect that. She's saying no to a lot of magical. And she tells me she's living a magical life, so I'm happy for her. But I'd love to dance with her. And she won't say yes to cookies. As if cookies are poison. See, I assume the exact opposite. I assume everybody knows everything about me. Humanity wants you to hide. Divinity wants you to dance. Rational wants you to say no. Magical wants you to explore more, please. You see, I met a woman. I came across the world to do a little worky-do thing. All right, I was coming over for three we- or two weeks to do a weekend training, hanging out for a while because it's a long trip from Pennsylvania to Australia. So I took a chance. I walked into a room. There she was. There was a glance that led to a dance that led to romance, and here we are. More please, more please, more please. And along the way, I also decided to revitalize this project. Because I realized I could make money trading. But it felt like work to me. This, on the other hand, doesn't. i got to put in effort, like that 85-year-old woman on the dance floor, she had to put in effort... In other words, energy. But it didn't ever seem like she was struggling. Because she was dancing. When she was dancing, there was very little rational, and there was a whole bunch of magical. Your ratios of rational and magical will actually vary all day long. Unless you're predictable and patterned, in which case you will probably rationalize the shit out of everything. Let me give you one more. So I've gave you some suggestions. Go to nevillegoddardstore.com, click on that 2024 section, get magic to the max. Get that altitude training, the one with the cool little chart. You'll see it. My other offer for you today, joinremarkable.com. That's one word. We explore stuff like this there continuously. We've got a monthly group call. You get $1,000 of bonus goodies. It's 100 bucks a month. You could pay for a whole year in advance and get a private one-on-one with me free. How cool is that? But here's the deal, gang. Some of y'all just said no and then came up with rationalizations for it. Some of you might be a little bit curious. More, please. Think of it this way. If you're getting gold from the podcast, what could you get in a private little Facebook group? Right now it's got about 60 people. What if you got on the one-on-one, I'm sorry, the group calls once a month? We record those for you, too. You get all those, too, as a bonus. What if you flew around the world and you glanced at a girl and you surrendered to more, please? I could have easily said no. I could have easily gone through all the hardships it would take, you know, leaving family, friends behind, selling my shit, moving around the world, dealing with all the legalities, There was a mountain of stuff that I got to climb. And once I climbed it, I was a different guy with a different view. And notice if it gives to you. So that's it for today's episode. My name is Mr. 2020. You've been listening to the Power of Imagination podcast. It's not that you don't have desires. It's that you doubt you. You doubt your divinity. And when you doubt your divinity, instead of experiencing desires, you experience frustrations. Magic to the max, get that recording, get the Get Altitude recording, and if you like, join Remarkable.com. See ya.
Oh, yeah. Let us go into the silence. Neville Goddard said your desires are divine in origin. And when you deny your divinity, you deny yourself of dancing the dance you came here to dance. You deny the world of the song that only you can sing. And when you stop denying your divinity, your divinity and humanity can dance. I'd love to know how this gave to you. Feel free to email me. Feel free to pick up some goodies in the store. Feel very free to join Remarkable.com. See ya.